Somebody requested I do a review of the Game Boy Color. Unfortunately, I never got around to it. Well, now that I have some time, here it is. Um, this is the Game Boy Color. This is obviously a yellow one, as you can see. I wanted the Pokemon Edition one, but they were out of those. So instead, I just went with this one and got Pokemon Yellow on top of it. So, here along the front of the system we have our LCD screen, obviously, our directional pad, A and B buttons, which feel very good in the hand. You have our start and select. One interesting design um, element about the Game Boy Color is the curvature that we see here, which I think is rather interesting. And while we're here on the front, I'll say that we have our power adapter here and our headphone jack here. Um, speakers down here on the bottom right. We have our color LCD screen. This is not backlit. We have our power switch here on the side. We have our unit information here on the back, serial number, um, information regarding the system. We have our game which is Zelda DX. On the left hand side we have our power port and our volume, or sorry not power port, our uh, link, link cable, link cable and our volume. The Game Boy Color was such an advanced system that it requires two AA batteries to operate properly. Um, so let's go ahead and switch it on. I do not know how well you'll be able to see this. So there we go, it's in full color. So, that's basically an example of the system in full color. Let me go ahead and access a file here. I want to do it um, in in secret so that nobody sees my file names or anything because they are my actual name. So so this is full color. Maybe kind of hard to see there. Sound is very good, and as you can tell, we have a full power light here. Um, one more thing I will make note of is here on the top. This is an infrared port. That's why the power switch was moved to the side. The infrared port was used to beam data between Game Boy Color systems. This was the first and only time this has ever been tried. Um, I don't remember, I think the problem was a lot of people, a lot of publishers just didn't know how to take advantage of the feature. The only people who really took advantage of it were Nintendo. So, um, yeah. This is the Game Boy Color, and to whomever requested a review of it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I also hope that those of you who didn't request the review, but still wanted to watch. Also enjoyed it as well. So I apologize for this being short. There really wasn't too much to say about this particular system. In closing, I can say that it was available in a multitude of colors. Um, I've, one of my friends has a translucent purple one. This also was available in solid purple. We have the yellow, which we see here. We've got the... Um, in fact, a lot of the colors that the unit was available in are right here in the color insignia. So we've got um, sort of a reddish pink, purple, green, yellow, which is, you know, like I said, that's this one, and teal. And those are all the solid colors. It was those colors plus a translucent purple that this unit was available in. And um, the advertising was really interesting. The story was, if I remember correctly, 
they would have you walking around in a black and white or not you but you know some guy walking around in a black and white scene and then he transverses over he just moves over and all of a sudden he's in this color scene and there we go full color you know and that was their advertising for the Game Boy Color so um, yeah that's just a little look at the Game Boy Color thank you for watching and have a nice day